modern day love. Oh, what is it nowadays? Is it both of us sitting across from one another, staring at our phones, taking a picture for Instagram and Snapchat and any other social media platform, then making sure the phone eats first and then eating and then saying, oh, it's such a good meal. And we're not even having a discussion. We're not interacting. We're not talking. We're just sitting there showing other people that we're having a good time. We're showing other people that we're on a date but we ourselves are not living in the moment. We are not focused on one another. We're so focused on the phone. Oh, are we gonna put the phone down on the table in our pocket? Is it face down? Is it face up? Is that gonna cause an argument now? Oh, why'd you put your phone face up and not face down? Oh, why is it face down? Are you hiding something? Is someone else tech? You guys see where I'm going here? Modern day love sucks. Even when it comes down to dating and you wanna learn to meet someone, you wanna find someone. Where are you finding them? Statistics shows most people are finding people online. Why? That's where we all are, online. Makes sense. There's not a lot of natural forms of meeting someone in person anymore because our third spaces now are our phones. We're living behind our phones. It's the place where we relax. It's a place where we meet people. It's a place where we talk to most people. So we know this is gonna be a thing and it's already over. You can't save it, you can't stop it. But there's ways you can work around it and make it happen for yourself. Modern day love doesn't allow for that. As you go up to talk to someone, oh, I don't even know this person, why they come up to talk to me? Or, oh, I'm so nervous, I don't even know how to talk to someone in real life. Why? Because we're so used to this phone. The modern day love scenario has completely ruined what romance used to be. Even when it comes down to choosing someone, you think you can have better. You think there's so much potential out there, there's so much people out there that you have access to, that you can potentially reach, that you can potentially meet because of the internet. That's great. But then we feel like we have unlimited options. We're never gonna settle because, hey, look at how many people want me. Look at how many people like me. But that ruins us. That ruins our sense of loving yours, loving the people around you, seeing around you what you have. Even if you're in a relationship, you're gonna be looking at other people because, oh, is this all there is to life? Is there more? There's so much here. There's, we weren't ever supposed to know all the things in the world. Even just imagine 100 years ago, 50 years ago, people didn't know what was going on in Indonesia yesterday, months, weeks, years to have news come that way about this experience. But now because of the internet, because of our phones, we're able to see all the walks of life all the time which in theory sounds awesome and that's great, but it does affect the way we see dating. Even when it comes down to the internet and seeing the best, we always see the most beautiful, the most talented. The best content gets pushed in the sense of the most talented artist, the most talented musician, the most popular song, the most beautiful girl, the most beautiful guy. This modern day love cycle has been ruining us slowly and slowly and slowly until we're gonna be at that point of, oh snap, look how far we've come. Even when it comes down to the romanticization, we romanticize everything. We want everything to be love, everything to be happy. If we're not happy 100% of the time with our partner, our spouse, our girlfriend, our boyfriend, whatever, then it's over. Relationship is chopped. Not even worth it. But that's not how life is. Life doesn't work that way. Look at siblings, look at your family, the people who are close to you. Look at your best friend. How many times have you argued and gotten over it? How many times have you butted heads and gotten over it? But when you add love into the mix, it becomes even harder because the emotion is way different. It's another level of emotion. And nowadays, we have the access to communicate with them all the time. Doesn't mean we should. We don't even give room for one another to miss each other. And hey, that makes sense. We should be giving room for each other to miss each other. We need to understand that not every second of the day you need to be on the phone with them. Not every second of the day you need to text from them. People used to be able to send letters and wait weeks for a response and they were still madly in love with this person. So relationships nowadays are being ruined because of the phones. They're being ruined because of what happens. And granted, I've watched relationships get ruined because of the phone and it sucks because you don't want things to end, especially when you think that's the one, that's the person for me. We work so well together when we're together in person, but oh, it's a long distance relationship now, we're over the phone, the whole relationship goes awry. Why? Because again, the phones really do dictate it. Well, you're not interacting with them. You're just sending texts. You're sending letters fast, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, without allowing the other person to fully get a thought out. When you argue, you're just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, not allowing the other person to ever get their tone across. You're reading things wrong. You're reading this wrong. You didn't understand this. And it's not real communication. So it's really difficult to actually maintain a relationship even when you have a relationship nowadays. A big part about this is again, even looking at social media. When you look at social media, people post highlights of their person. Oh, happy three month anniversary, happy this year. Oh, you didn't post me for my one year. Oh, it's all a show. But again, a real relationship doesn't need all that. Even when you think about some of your best friends, some of them you don't even have that many photos with. Some of your best relationships, you cannot talk to them for three months, pick up where you left off like that but it's because that's not the main focus. So when you make the main focus the relationship, the energy between you two, that is how you actually build a quality, healthy relationship. 
And this is again what the modern day love cycle is. With social media influence, it creates this online persona, who you are online, who you are with them in real life. And it creates so much more jealousy. Why did this person like this photo? Why is this person commenting? Oh, why is this person have an insider with you? It adds so much more doubt, so much more relationship drama. And this happens to all of us. We see it. We all know someone who goes through this 24 seven and it happens. But honestly, is it really our fault? Or is it the fault that we weren't designed to see all this content? We weren't designed to feel this way. We just weren't. Humans, we have not evolved or adapted to the phones yet. Think about how new the phone invention is and how old humankind is. Like that, like our brains haven't even been able to adapt to it. So yes, there's gonna be a problem. Yes, we're gonna feel certain ways. So understanding this is gonna be, okay, wait, how do I make sure I have a healthy relationship? How do I make sure that things are gonna go the right way? Is it just understanding a love language or is it actually realizing and knowing who you are without the phone? Separating yourself from the constant dopamine rush of them talking to you, them talking to you. Because you shouldn't be 24 7 attached to the hip with them. Even for me with my siblings and my brother or sister, when I'm with them 24 7 all the time hanging out, hanging out, we want to destroy each other. We hate one another at some times, right? But it's not actually hate, it's always love there. But you get frustrated with one another. It's normal. But nowadays, when people actually get frustrated with each other, they just quit. They just give up on people around them because they can't even fathom getting over this because of how many feelings you can have over the phone, how you can't even deal with that problem there. And it's not even worth it to have that long distance relationship. It's not even worth it to argue over the phone. So it's this whole drama wheel because of the modern day social experience. Even when it comes down to actually trying to find someone, all anyone cares about nowadays is hookup culture. Everyone is involved in hookup culture, whether you like it or not. And it sucks. Hookup culture is trash. Everything about hookup culture is trash. You don't learn more about yourself. You don't learn more about other people. You're just wasting your potential. You're wasting your body with other people that shouldn't probably have you. You're giving yourself away. But there's not a sense of self-respect within yourself or ourselves to even be with one person. How many more people are going to be with one person in our lives now than 50 years ago? Look at the statistics of 50 years ago marriages versus now. Who is even going to be getting married as a Gen Z person? No one's going to get married. No one's going to have kids. Well, what a vain and shallow life we're about to live. And the modern day love and modern day relationships has ruined that for us. And the people who want to have that romanticized lifestyle, it's so hard to find a partner that fits that because who is even thinking to live this way? It seems so taboo now to even want to live that kind of lifestyle, to be like, hey, like I wanna wait until we're married, or hey, I want this or I want that. You're like an anomaly if you want that. So the modern day love and relationships in our society has been falling apart. And even when you wanna think about it, for example, me being as a Muslim in more Islamic countries where there's more of a courting process or more European countries where there's more of a courting process in certain things, not really happening that way anymore. People want to rush to get married and then they rush to get divorced. Rush to get married and rush to get divorced. So this is happening all over the globe because we have one whole internet consensus of this fast life, fast life, fast life. So even when it comes down to culture and our religions and societies, it's even falling apart around the world. And again, this is not good for our future. It's not good for our mental health. It's not good for our happiness. So again, more and more people are going to be miserable. More and more people are going to be lonely. There's going to be more and more kids with single moms or single dads or split homes, which again, is not good for their mental health. So again, we're just constantly creating more and more problems. But when you understand this problem, we'll be able to actually attack, solve it, and then build a proper relationship based upon that high level of communication. The understanding that it's not 24 seven talking to one another. And knowing all these little things, we're gonna allow you to have that highest level of relationships with not only your significant other, but your siblings, your friends, and whoever it is you end up in a relationship with. Don't have FOMO. Don't feel like you're missing out if you're not in a relationship. Don't feel like you're missing out if you're not posting your significant other all the time. Don't feel like you're missing out if no one's posting you. That's not the point. Understand and separate reality, real life, versus social media and a fake life. It's just highlight reels. It's just showing a photo or whatever it is. Remember, you have to separate the two. Even when it comes down to our phones and communications, back then, if you didn't want to go out on a date with someone, you could communicate that with them. Like, hey, listen, I had a good time, but this isn't gonna work out. Oh, okay, thank you for letting me know. But nowadays, what happens? Ghosting. How silly is that? How disrespectful is that? Yeah, I don't feel like even entertaining this person I just entertained for like a week, two weeks, three weeks. I'm just gonna ghost them, never talk to them again. Why? It's easy to do that. You don't really meet them in person. You're just talking over the phone. There's not that sense of respect for one another anymore. So if you guys see these problems, you guys see this happening around you, try to be the solution. Try to solve it. Try to be the better person. Try to actually heal oneself and understand the societal problems that we're having and give yourself that time to find someone that's right for you. And don't rush into everything. Don't feel like you're missing out. Focus on this. And if you guys see things that I might have missed within the modern day love sphere, let me know. I'd love to hear what you guys think as well. 
and leave comments down below of basically like anything that you have noticed has happened in life that you've noticed personally because then i would love to know what you think thank you again for tuning in i really do appreciate the love be sure to like subscribe and share this to all your friends and i'll see you next time see you later